Good evening to Anna and everyone who is watching us live from that part of the world. Good morning to me and to the people that are watching us in the Americas. And we are back to our live interviews today with Anna Denning. Hi, Anna. Hello, Anna. Good morning. <laughs> yes. How are you? It's been a long day, but it's morning for you. Almost surprised how that works. I'm very well, thank you. How are you? I'm good. And this interview today, I, I've been waiting for this for probably about a year. Yes. Uh, yes. Finally it, happening. Yes, it's, it's very meaningful. And I'm going to spoil uh, the news that uh, uh, in some of my drawings, I've been working on the topic of meeting everyone I interview in. I know it's confirmed that I'm going to meet you a month from now. It's very exciting. <laughs> yes, it is. Yes. I'm, I'm so glad that you're coming over to, to England. Yes, yeah. if anybody else wants to come to England, yeah. uh, please do send me a message. We can always meet. Absolutely. So the excitement, I'm, I'm sure that is shared by the students, your current students, your future students. And uh, you are the voice that beautiful British posh accent that you demonstrate. I, I speak Southwest, <laughs> Wild West. <laughs> and the face in the pictures that we also get to see in the background. So how about we learn a little bit about you? Because that's the whole essence of doing our interviews that we know who are those pioneers, those brave souls that are bringing Neurographica into the English-speaking world. So tell us, how did you find Neurographica? Okay, so my name is Anna Denning. I'm Neurographic Instructor. I'm Director of English Instructor Training Course. Please join us. I'm also Specialist Trainer and Neurographic Aesthetic Coach. And um, if you met me a few years ago, I was just uh, doing a bit of translation work. My background is actually business. I worked in financial and management consulting. Then I worked in engineering consultancy. And um, so it will, it's quite a career change. I did go to art school a while ago, but uh, my life moved me into the business world. Uh, and I have a wonderful uh, sister and she is, she's got master of psychology. And actually I've got my mom is psychiatrist, psychotherapist as well. So I kind of uh, lived uh, and breathed psychology. And uh, so I was uh, following my sister on Instagram and all of a sudden I saw these beautiful drawings um, and they just, they just had so much energy, so much beauty in it. So I, I got quite interested and I asked you, I said, you know, Anastasia, what is this? And she told me it's Neurographica. So it piqued my interest and, um, I enrolled first into the basics course, then I went into the study specialist, then all the algorithms, all the different modules. Then I went into the aesthetic coaching and I've decided that's it. I want to become a neurographic instructor. And it literally changed my life on so many levels. Um, the, you know, how my life progress is just unrecognizable. And I'm so thankful to the method. I'm so thankful to the creator of the method, Pavel Piskaryov, um, and to the whole Neurographica community. So that's that's a story about me, Anna. Right, to keep the story short, but I do know that you have something for us prepared to work on. Uh, yes. Algorithm, and I know that it's going to take a little bit longer. I hope that everyone who's joined us today have paper markers, and uh, let's just give you the floor. Let's dive in into the neuro tree of self-development. Self development, exactly. I picked uh, neuro tree because it is such a popular model. A lot of people who start getting interested in Neurographica, they first, the first thing they're drawing they see um, is the neuro tree. In fact, you can have, you can see neuro tree behind me. Uh, and this is my very first neuro tree that kind of tended to grow and grow. Things grow in Neurographica. So if you kind of step on the path of uh, becoming sort of the basic use of Neurographica, you just can't stop. You want to learn more and more because 
you literally can see changes in your life things start happening things that you've never literally kind of you, you you had in your wildest dreams all of a sudden things just come together and start happening it's such an amazing um method so i've picked the neuro tree because a it is beautiful b it is quite easy to draw and c the topic of self-development is a great topic uh, because you're kind of looking inside yourself and focusing on ways how to better yourself and uh, it increases your self-esteem you know uh, improve fulfills your aspiration and uh, today you know this is what i would like to draw about because all of us have so much potential inside us and we don't even realize that we haven't even fulfilled part of the potential that's you know that's inside so wow. uh, that's why I want to draw the oh, without further delay. Let's let's switch cameras. I'm gonna be working with you. I'll be the voice behind the screen of your beautiful art. I'm sure that will be a very meaningful session. I will meet you in the end when you finish your drawing. We will plan for about an hour, 10 minutes. We will see how that goes. So everyone, let's get started and uh, good luck. Yeah. Any questions? We have chat open. Please feel free to uh, take your questions. Before yes. I start drawing, can you just uh, people who are present, can you please put in the chat number one if you have never drawn neurographic and you don't know how to draw neurographic line and do rounding? Because then I'll show you. Yeah, I'm already getting some messages. Marie Scott says, neuro trees are lovely to draw. Thank you. Thank you, Marie. Yes, we love the trees. You know, we are the two Russian souls that grew up in the forest of the Urals. Both Anna and I actually share the same geographic uh, birth region. And yes, neuro tree actually is a spiritual special uh, object for, for me too. Mm. Just thinking about it. So while I'm waiting for the answers, if you are a beginner of neurographic or if you know how to do simple things, uh, what we'll need for the class today is we'll need A4 format paper. Those who are not familiar with A4 format is, it's basically printer size paper. Also, we will need some markers. They can either be any type of calligraphy pens that you might have or felt tips as we call them in England. I think Crayola in america also i'm a big fan of this arts markers the alcohol based markers they're great for coloring and for drawing lines and another one of my favorites my beloved text highlighters so the more the better so we will need as i said paper various types of markers and we will start drawing do we have any answers about if there are any beginners well, you're well prepared as well. My favorite. Gosh, that's very nice. Karandash is a very popular brand. I love Karandash. I've got a few, a, a couple of sets of um, the pencils. Maybe one day we have to do a bragging session so people can share what kind of brands they love and why. Just yes. Just, we have a lot of questions. People ask us what's the best, but uh, anything that makes color gives color is good. Yes. Oh, also, before I forget, we've created a special post on our uh, in our web, um, you know, the main page for Psychology of Creativity Institute. And when you draw your tree, please share your beautiful drawings there. Uh, we will uh, really appreciate it because it will be lovely to see your beautiful uh, artworks. And when you do, please do mention uh, what part of the of the world you are uh, coming from today, joining us, and uh, what is your favorite tree? Yes, thank you. So I think I haven't had any replies, but I'm going to literally take a couple of minutes just to show how to draw neurographic line and how we do rounding. Um, I might disappear for a second while I rotate my camera and I will reappear. Yeah, and so hello from Argentina. Hello, hola. Uh, algorithm through neuro color. Yes, yeah, so uh, who's your sister, please? Uh, Anastasia, what's her name? I forgot. Uh, my sisters. Yeah. Serentiva. People are asking, yes. 
So yes, so the uh, the questions are on uh, YouTube. If we didn't we don't get to answer, we will uh, check back with you guys. So let's yeah. just I'm gonna disappear and let's do the new retreat. Okay. Okay, before we start, I would like just to take a couple of minutes to show you how to draw neurographic line for those people who have never done neurographica before, because it will stay as a recording on YouTube, so there, there might be people, you know, who are just getting to know the method. So when you draw a neurographic line, neurographic line is the line that does not repeat itself on any point of its journey, and it leads us to where we do not expect to see it. So when you draw a neurographic line, you need to experience resistance. And for example, normally, if you ask, if I ask you to draw a line, it will be a line, straight line. Or if I say, oh, can you please do a wavy line? People will draw this. So these lines, they, you can see, they repeat itself. So when we draw a neurographic line, try it now. You put the tip of the marker somewhere and for example i want to go up and i go down i want to keep going down and i take it up so this are uh, this is the line that is unique in the way it kind of does repeat itself so let me do another one so we need to feel constant resistance when we draw this line so something like this these are the lines that we often see in nature in the shapes of the clouds at you know when the when the sea comes onto the sand they are very kind of natural and beautiful so but remember you need to experience resistance when you draw one so also the second important thing is when two lines meet they create a corner corner in our psyche is a conflict uh, because when we see shapes like for example imagine you're walking on the grass and you see something like this if you step you will hurt yourself so our mind recoils from such images so everywhere where lines cross in neurographica we do rounding okay so we create we get rid of the corners and we create this beautiful rounding pattern that Neurographica is so famous for. Okay, just um, in another case, something I wanted to mention that Neurographica is a scientific and patented method of working with your mind. So we carry only instructors, official Neurographica instructors can use the word uh, neurographica in the title of the events. Uh, there's three different levels. So we have the basic use of neurographica who can use neurographica for their own purpose. Uh, we have the level of the specialist second level, which is a professional level. People who already have kind of existing professional practice, they can kind of learn a few models that they will be able to use with their clients. And the third level, which I would like you to all to invite today, is the level of neurographic instructor. And neurographic instructors have the full command of all neurographic tools, and they can use them. So they can literally, you know, teach other people how to draw neurographica. So this is just a little tutorial to show you how neurographica neurographic line is drawn and also how you know how we do rounding so now we are actually going to move on to our main drawing and the neuro tree of self-development so we're all going to have the same topic uh, you learn the neuro tree during the specialist course and as I say, it's, a, it's such a beautiful, uh, it's such a beautiful drawing and literally everybody can resonate with it. Why? Because trees is something, it is a metaphorical kind of image. Uh, it is kind of archetypal image of our mind. We all know, um, you know, tree of life, for example, there's um, in literally in each culture, there is an image of trees because trees used to give us uh, lives, shelter, lives 
fruit, etc. We used to kind of climb it in terms of danger, etc. So um, actually, I'm going to swap the camera around because because we are going first of all before we start drawing we are going to do a little exercise it's called words in two minutes so i'm going to time two minutes and during these two minutes please write down the areas uh where you would like sort of to develop further um okay so there can be anything in your life for example straight away when i think about I think about my health about my professional development, my creativity, etc. So you got the picture because, you know, today it's new retreat, it is, and we will try to develop as many areas, kickstart as many areas of our life as possible. So please write down new retreat of self-development. And the date. I always like to date my drawings so I can see how they progress. And I'm going to time two minutes and please write down words in two minutes. Areas um, that you would like to develop. So the time starts now. Another minute or a minute left. Okay, so the time stopped. Count how many words you've got and let us know in the chat. I've got 23 words. Twenty three words and so how many words do you have? Um, So once you've counted how many words, look at your words, see if any words repeat themselves. Uh, for example, I have the word art twice and I've got neurographica twice. So once you kind of you analyze your words, what we're going to do now is we're going to uh, basically combine either combine or divide those words into eight categories. Uh, maybe less, maybe nine. So I, I would imagine between five and nine. Um, and I'm going to do exactly the same. Or maybe you can also find some words uh, that kind of uh, resonate with your self development. Um, so I'm going to so I'm looking at all my words. And my first category is health. 
kind of health, fitness, all of this together. Uh, second, I've got Neurographica. Uh, then I have a kind of relationships family. Um, then I've got a category called money. I've got three words that describe the same principle in different, uh, in different ways. Number five, I've got art. Because I actually do... Um, painting apart from neurographic um, as i say i'm an artist so i i paint and i always want to develop that further i've got education another um another basically area number seven i'm thinking it's between kind of holidays vacations but i'm going to call it adventures Dark adventures um one two three four five six seven and i'm going to do one more which is going to be um, again uh, it's kind of career i'll call it okay so i've got eight um eight main categories that i would like to work on today so unfortunately, I can't see your chat straight away, but um, you know, if there's anything important, I'm sure you know I will get the message. So um, I am going to now swap the camera around. So I will disappear for a second, but I promise I will come back. There we go. So because we have only limited amounts of time. Um, I'm going to take the A4 format paper, you know, the printer size paper. We always draw neurotry in the vertical format. Uh, because neurotries and trees, it's all about growth. It's all about kind of like almost the evolution of the human being. It's kind of, you know, the trees say, take all this energy from the roots and they grow upwards. So we draw neurotry from the bottom to the top as well so and um, i would like you just to roughly just take maybe a thin marker or a pencil um and well first of all let's because as i say we have limited amount of time so i would like to draw inside the frame so i'll basically make my paper um sort of slightly smaller and uh, so i'm gonna stand up because it's easier for me to do like this and I'm going to create a slightly smaller frame. But if you if you want, you can just draw as you know. It doesn't have to be a particular, you know, straight or perfect. Literally anybody can draw neurographica. And when the frame is not particularly straight, it gives you a certain uniqueness to your uh, to your drawing as well. So I've got a frame here and roughly you can kind of divide this kind of this picture inside into three parts, kind of roughly equal parts. So just here, probably even smaller here and here. Okay, so three parts because um, a good balanced tree in order to grow upwards it needs to have quite a developed root system and actually the trees overall they have they're kind of connected to three worlds they're, they're connected to our past in the roots kind of our ancestry trunk is the present moment kind of strength of our character and crown you know the top of the leaves it's all future potential okay and the future and our thinking so how would draw a tree in neurographica we say one line one thought and we start growing our tree from the bottom to the top so uh, i would like actually to start with um, eight lines for each uh, category so my first category is health so i start drawing the line and it's going to be kind of my axis line 
at my middle line from the bottom and I'm going to draw this kind of neurographic line and draw it upwards. So health, second one, neurographica. So I'm going to take the line because we're creating roots, then the trunk and then the crown. So neurographica is this line here. Okay, I wrote all my categories at the back. That's why I keep <laughs> um, uh, I keep turning it. My third line is going to be the relationships, my family life. Mm -hmm. So we are in the crate. We're creating this line. So we're creating the shape, the beautiful shape of a strong tree. The next one is finances, money. So we draw the lines from kind of from the roots and we grow our potential in this area upwards. And take your time, kind of connect with your body, connect with your emotions. Then I have art. Remember to breathe. If you have, you want some water all of a sudden, have a sip. If you feel any tension, kind of move around, just get rid of the tension in your body. Next line for me is education. I've got adventures. and career. Okay, so we have our tree. Look at it. How does it look like? If you have a big crown, not enough roots, add some roots. In fact, let's I'm looking at my roots and straight away I'm thinking about all the resources in the past that got me to this moment. So I would like to add another line to my root system and it's going to be kind of potential from my ancestors on my mother's side. Because I'm remembering that one of the lines that I did is, for example, my health line. And I start, when you go to the past, kind of I start thinking, what uh, resources do I have? And I've got, you know, quite a good genetic, basically, material. So if you want, if there's anything important, you'll literally create a circle here, which will signify that particular resource. I would like to do another line, and it is the potential from my dad's side. So again, I can kind of, in a way, create another circle, another uh, resource, or you can just draw lines if that resonates with you the most. Okay, so look, make sure that your roots are quite strong because without strong roots, you won't have a strong crown, the tree will not be able to support itself. So again, I'm kind of look, think about each area that you would like to develop further. And for example, for me, neurographica, and it is kind of connected with my education and uh, with my career. And it is my experience, my education in neurographica. So I kind of, if you want, you can even literally kind of write it down what's here. It's okay, you can literally take notes on your paper. 
So another one is that my life experience up to now. So I'm going now to keep quiet and just round things. You know, remember when I showed you how do you do rounding? Because I don't want to put too many of your thoughts in your mind. We're all kind of working with our own experiences, with our own things. But I would like to put another big circle here again, in particular for my experience of working through things using Eurographica, using the method. I want to put another root here just so I can take this energy. and use it in the future so i'm going over some lines where lines intersect i do rounding when we round things we are kind of creating we're linking the thoughts together we are creating new neural pathways I really want this tree to be magnificent and beautiful. So I kind of feel like I need another root here. Okay, so when we do everything, including rounding, we're still moving from the bottom to the top. So I'm going to the upwards towards the trunk of my tree and this is kind of the strength of our character in the trunk when you start rounding your trunk i would like you to think about the qualities that you possess that can help you grow and self-develop and again, you can kind of almost create another shape here, another circular shape. In the way you kind of affix, emphasize those kind of qualities here. And you can, as I say, you can name them. Okay. So our trunk needs to be needs to be nice and thick and powerful to support everything. So I'm looking at it. I'm thinking that it's a bit narrow here. So I want to make it a bit more. A bit more steady. So I'm creating kind of another line. So what so what qualities do you have what powers do you have you know what makes you um you know different potentially what are you proud of ask yourself what are you proud of for example i'm proud of always finding solution to whatever life throws at me and i must admit neurographica does help quite a lot <laughs> because it's such an amazing way to literally it, it just lends you solutions to some issues that might be bothering you for a while so again we're rounding going upwards so we kind of we looked at the roots we looked at our resources our experience then we're going upwards Again, keep thinking about all the special qualities that you have, the strength of your character. When you, when were you proud of yourself? What did you do? Because often we tend to ignore our achievements. I'm gonna 
put a circle here because I've done something recently. I'm really quite proud, proud of. Mm -hmm. So we we'll round everything. We we'll round everything so the energy can kind of flow uh, freely upwards. Okay, so we worked on the trunk, so we're going towards the crown of the tree. And in the crown, we have kind of uh, our thinking. So as you go and start rounding and adding more branches into your tree, so it looks nice and lush and abundant. Think about the areas, those areas of your life that you would like to see kind of results. For example, when it comes to health, it could be, I don't know, running a marathon. So my health was in the middle and I don't want to run a marathon, but there's a couple of things I might like to, uh, to, to you know, to achieve. So um, I do like body pump training with weight so I want to achieve a certain weight so as I'm thinking about that and I am kind of drawing a line upwards okay so there's something else like a certain heart resting rate I would like to achieve so I'm drawing another line and I'm rounding everything okay when it comes to for example money I've got certain guidelines for myself so i'm gonna you know draw another branch and you know what another branch to support this branch okay education or oh, i want to to do a couple of courses that i already planned because we never stop educating ourselves. And even now, the, you, you know, you are here, you're drawing Neurotry, you're obviously following like the events of some people who draw Neurographica. And this is great because you are investing in your own education, you're investing in your own self-development. And I applaud you for that. Because as I say, it's an amazing method and um, if you really like it, you can literally, um, you know, learn and become an instructor yourself and show it to share it with more people. Talking about Neurographica, yes, I would like one of the branches will be having a certain number of students in next year's instructor's course. Because one of the missions uh, of that many people in the Institute share and Pavel Piskarov shares is uh, make our planet drawing Neurographica. So just to show this method to as many people as possible. So people draw, uh, draw Neurographica and literally become more fulfilled, um, less stressed because of it. Okay, so in terms of career, I have some goals. So I am going to you know, create another line. And that's it. I'm looking at, I've kind of covered everything. I'm just looking at my list. Oh, adventures. No, I must not forget adventures. Yep. I used to say holidays, but I don't anymore. Adventures, lives, fun things. So... I would love to go to Japan. I would love to go to China. Um, yeah, so I'm looking at the list again. Oh, yeah. Um, help relationships, help my kids through school. My older daughter is having lots of exams soon. Okay, so once you've done, once you've collected kind of this energy how do you feel i mean i wish i could see the chat but how do you feel now you've created you've built your own 
tree. I feel so excited. I feel so inspired by just looking at it. And for you who are doing it at home, when you are ready, we can draw some fruit because the tree needs to have enough nutrition, enough, you know, sunlight, enough everything to be able to when it's it's high, uh, you know, of uh, goodness, it's ready to produce fruit. And fruit, in our case, they are results, results of your labor, your plans. What do you want to achieve? And so what do I want? I've got a one large beginning of a fruit and it is concerning kind of in my health area. So this is something that I would like to see. So when you're ready, draw some fruit. You can either just draw them or you can name them. Our mind likes concrete tasks. If you want a certain salary, put the number. You know, our mind likes to think, to have kind of like more concrete tasks. Okay, so this is my first fruit. I have another fruit here. It is family related, related to my kids. I've got two kids, so I've got a couple of fruit here. I've got another, I want another. Make them different sizes. You know, some small, some big. It always looks good when we have variety. Okay, I can name this fruit. Oh, there's another one. Again, you can see sometimes I just look at my tree and I kind of kind of see the beginning of a shape. So nothing is accidental. All of them are results of our mind. So I'm creating... Again, I'm, I'm naming it straight away. Okay, again, look at your list. Is there anything else? Oh, yes. I would love to master something. As I said, I would like a certain amount, we would a certain amount of students studying to become neurographic instructor next year. Because our intake sort of grows every year. And it is wonderful to see because to be honest, it's still not many people know about it. But it is, you know, such an amazing method that I think it should, needs to be shouted about from the rooftops. And please share this video with your uh, friends and family. Um, it would be wonderful if you could spread the word. Okay. And um, when it, oh, yes. Another one. So I had five categories. How many? What did I forget? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Oh, one more. What did I miss? Health. The art education and then just oh yeah career career yes i've got a certain target 
I'm working towards and this fruit will be about that. Okay, there we go. So we've kind of finished the tree itself. Again, look at it. Do you want to add anything? I might just want to add another line here and here because I've actually created quite a few branches. So my tree needs to be, uh, you know, stable to support all this weight. Also, I recommend creating kind of geographic kind of line of the horizon just to ground our tree so it doesn't hang in the air so it sits it's grounded it stands firmly on the ground okay so now we've done the tree now what i recommend we have this empty space here on the side but we never have empty spaces in our lives they're always filled in with our family friends community neighbors so now let's connect our tree of self-development, our tree of potential to other people. And how do we do that? Uh, I quite like taking a thinner marker. Um, in this case, it's a um, um, text, uh, sorry, fine liner, fine liner. And using your graphic line, connect our tree to the environment. Can you see any shapes in the environment? I would like, another thing I would really like to add is just this kind of large shape at the background. So just here, you can call it sun or whatever it is, but I call it a big kind of universal resource, so to say you know, universal support. This is something that is bigger than you. Again, we integrated with the whole drawing. In Neurographica, everything is connected. We don't have any kind of elements that are on their own. If you see something's on their own, it's something else. I don't know, Neurotangle, Doodling. There's quite a lot of Doodling uh, on the internet. So in Neurographica, everything is connected, integrated, just like, just like we are. As I say, I'm kind of going over, integrating this shape of, let's call it universal support, or you can call it sun, and connect it. to our tree and just kind of feel how it gives us warmth and support and possibly purpose maybe some of you had a massive insight as I say we all come here with a massive potential And we, all of us, all human beings, kind of want to fulfill it. Okay, so connecting, keep connecting my tree. to the outside world, <laughs> to other people, to communities, to friends. It is about sharing our potential, sharing our achievements with our nearest and dearest and just why do you know, why the community, if you're drawing about neurographic, it is sharing the method with everybody, with people around it, so other people can benefit it. Okay, so now we are going to another fun part. I actually think all the 
parts are fun when you draw um you know when you draw new retreat but a lot of people love doing um it's called cut i mean it's called archetyping but a lot of people call it just coloring so depending on your preferred media for coloring things i am actually going to go for pencils i've decided so i'm going to use pencils today and uh, but you can use you know text highlighters always look amazing they are slightly overlooked but they create such a vibrancy in the drawing um it's a very beautiful you know try it if you've never tried it please try it it's not just for during like sunday school bible studies it's also a fun medium to draw and to color i love pencils so i'm going to do to use pencils today and when we do archetype and when we color we also start and we go from the bottom towards the top and we kind of carry this color through the tree by the way it doesn't have to be brown and green and fruit or apples they're red you can pick any colors that you like so i want to use this fabulous turquoise turquoise colors and i start coloring as i say from the bottom going upwards carrying this wonderful each color has energy so i'm carrying this wonderful turquoise energy upwards and feeding my tree with it Okay, one, I want some on the other side. I just actually, I just absolutely love it how it looks. Uh, don't worry, just leave your kind of beliefs, what kind of tree, how it needs to look like, you know, what color it should be. Don't worry about it. Just pick whatever colors that resonate with you and use those. lovely love that blue tree it reminds me of avatar remember in avatar they have this fabulous tree of souls i want to add a bit of pink is very much a love color for me so i'm going to add a bit of a little bit of love to my tree I think whatever we need to do in life, we need to do it with love. So again, I'm going upwards. and i'm gonna straight away kind of want to give this part a bit of pink as well mm -hmm. a little bit of more pink on the other side pick what as i say pick whatever colors that uh, you like that you know kind of correspond to your idea of self-development or colors that just make you happy so again try to go from the bottom to the top There we go it's quite nice pastel colors now i would really like some green so i'm looking for appropriate green
and you can leave by the way some areas white white is also a color don't feel like you need to color everything on your page on your paper I quite like mixing colors so I feel quite happy going over I really look forward to seeing your drawings so please please share your beautiful art as I said on our uh, Facebook um, page that would be fantastic maybe tonight maybe tomorrow maybe it might take you a bit longer to finish it don't worry okay uh, the rule of archetyping, by the way, when we color Neurographica, Neurographica is all about integration. So when we color, we unite at least two sections with the same color. So for example, this is, I'm just doing this section and this section together. And these two together. A few fruit I would like to to make it kind of red to get a bit of fine passion to some of the fruit. This one and. There we go looking at the drawing um, and I really need some yellow so and when I work with yellow I'm actually going to I'm working quite fast because I know that we're limited by time uh, but later on tonight I'm going to sit down and work a little bit more on my drawing and I really want some yellow here so we're working with the background as well so I'm going to create make this um, as I say, universal support, this kind of power sources, um, yellow as well. And what color would you like to, to use for your background? I might use actually kind of lilac -y, purpley color. Lovely. I quite like actually the combination of yellow and purple. It's beautiful. So if anyone has any questions about you know the courses the instructors course please send us a message uh, to the institute 
on the Facebook uh, page and we will reply to you. It will be lovely uh, to have you as you, our colleagues. Okay, so I am almost finished with, with the color. It gives me a lovely feeling using these colors, they're just wonderful. This is probably the the first tree that where I used this, this type of um, uh, combination. It's almost um, it's got kind of a nice twilighty atmosphere. I quite like that. That's unusual. Um, <laughs> makes makes me think. What if it is not? What if it is not sun? What if it is a moon? And yeah, so all these different ideas are in my head. It's literally I I can't even. Um, you know, I will think about it later. <laughs> so next stage, we are going to create so-called, uh, well, we call them field lines. But again, the field lines, they're these kind of thick lines that uh, start the flow. And in the way, I quite like calling them support lines because this is us kind of letting go and asking the support from the universe to support our growth, to support our development. So take a thicker marker. I'm going to use this brush pen and the field lines, they go from the bottom towards the top. If you ask me how many field lines, I would say do as many as you feel will help you solve your topic. Um, well, definitely more than one. So I can see, and in the way this is, I think this is my original line. When I started drawing, is it the original line? So, well, actually I'm gonna do this one first. And these field lines, they kind of, they originate beyond paper. So just to show it as an example, they kind of start before this frame. And they go beyond our frame as well. So this is my first line. In fact, I want to make it thicker and just completely remove um, this little, little, little details. Another line is going to go here. And these are the lines, by the way, they go through the whole drawing. And another line is this one. You can see some of the lines, they kind of call out for you. They tell you what they are. Okay, so this is my third line. And I think I'm going to leave it at that. I quite like uh, the three lines. And now we need, at the end of the day, we need to create an affixing in our drawing. And if you look at any pieces of art, academic drawings, paintings, etc., any artist was, will always look at something at the main, basically, feature on the painting, on the drawing. And we do it in the same way. So look at this drawing as a whole and what. Uh, what element kind of resonates with you? What element would you like to make it your main element? 
Is it one of the fruits? Is it one of the resources? Is that kind of something in the background? What is there for you that, you know, when you were drawing it, when you were working in it, gave you the biggest kind of impression? I need to stand up and look at it. And I'm torn because these are such different kind of areas um, of my life and they're all very important. So I find it quite difficult uh, to, to pick. Hmm. But I need to pick something. We all need to pick something. So I might actually pick this circle, this resource, this universal support, something bigger than me. And in the way it kind of corresponds with my belief that, you know, that there is always support if you seek it. So I'm going to controversially not pick any element from the tree, but I'm going to pick this big resource as my affixing, as my emphasis. So, but it's it's me. For you, you can pick whatever else. Maybe you've realized that there's something there at the moment that is very valuable and something important uh, for you, or it is um, you know one of the um, one of the fruits that really call out one of the sort of results that you would like to see in your life. They're the most important thing for me. As I say, it is that resource, but also concentrating on the now as well because the affixing kind of it is about the trunk it is about what i have at the moment for me it is about enjoying what i have enjoying life and and just there is support so that's that's a big affixing there's quite a lot of insights so how do we do affixing it is we take uh, quite a thick marker as well and we just basically create a thick line around that shape so I'm going over when we do a fixing we're always neurograph but these are all details that you learn at the basic user course um, yeah, so this is my affixing. I will make sure that it's all nicely integrated because when we create these kind of the field lines and they in intersect with thinner lines over here, they always create some angles, some intersections and we need to round everything but because we're running out of time i go i'm going to wish you luck with all this rounding intersections uh, and once you're done as i say please show your beautiful drawings and uh, please share your art and please share our web page um, share the method what an amazing method it is uh, with your nearest and dearest with your friends with the community uh, because it is you know such a simple and accessible graphical art of literally of describing the world it is easy to learn and it is so amazing to do so i'm gonna swap my camera around so you can see my face now Okay, so I hope that you enjoyed it. I hope that you ins I inspired you. I hope now that you will be again inspired to draw uh, Neurographica. You will, you know, you will come and join us at the instructor's course or you start your journey at the basics, etc. So please share your drawings on our web page um, and, uh, you know, in your community and tag the Institute and tag me if you like as well. Um, so thank you very much. I look forward to seeing your drawings and I'm sure I will see you soon. Anna, please look, show your drawing as well. I... And it's so uh, amazing. I'm just going to say maybe a couple of words because I, I went through the whole experience myself that 
I think when we uh, do a newer graphic together as a group, and I will just uh, in a second tell you how many uh, different parts of the world we had on, you know, live stream with us. We had people from uh, Turkey, we had uh, California, Netherlands, uh, Connecticut, uh, UK, Poland, Belgium, Poland, Alaska. Uh, I think uh, we had Argentina. So in my own experience, and it's been a few months maybe since I've done the new retreat that when I've never done that, the, the figure for the collective uh, resource that we all go into or not, maybe unconsciously. And then that, that circle was going really big. I'm thinking, wow, what is that about? And intuitively then, sort of halfway through the process, I knew that I think that's going to be my, the most important figure in the, in, in the drawing. And then, and then you're going for that as a, a fixation. I'm thinking the serendipity of doing live drawings as a group is something that maybe science can explain in the future. But to me, this is that humbling, most important outcome of doing neurographic. And I'm, I'm really humbled. I'm really grateful. Uh, I invite everyone who was alive with us, just because of what I have said, if you kind of felt similarly with your joining us energetically, please just, 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 just tell us. <laughs> we would like to hear if that's something that maybe uh, the, the research and science should be looking into seriously, because we, we are that one big... Um, what was that tree? The avatar tree that we do connect into one another. And it's the most beautiful thing that is keep happening. And I'm really grateful for Anna, to Anna for the beautiful session today. And uh, uh, let me see, I'm just gonna see if you have any more. Uh, thank you so much. Yes, we get a lot of thank you notes. Oh, wonderful. Yes. Thank you. Yes. And I really think if you work in a group, uh, literally we all have this kind of quantum field. I don't know how to call it, but we all, all our uh, wishes, all our desires kind of get multiplied. And I really believe, I think it's, it's a bit metaphysical, but things start happening in our lives faster. Positive changes, because Neurographica is always about positive change. Um, and, you know, it, it does, it just changes something in our mind and, uh, you know, we, we, we attract, we attract a good positive things. And, and it's felt in, in the, the level of energy in, in our voices, it's just like you cannot help it, but to uh, just acknowledge that that's how I feel right now. I'm happy, I'm bigger. I'm excited to support this beautiful growing global community. And uh, it's, it's our mission to those of us that do speak a couple of languages that that's what we will continue doing. If you like this ideas with the, the live streams, let us know, absolutely jump in and uh, join the conversation and discussion and your art. Uh, so there's, I actually, I'm looking at the uh, YouTube. Uh, yes, I thought the same, the affix, the round, I was glad through, I thought the same. See, that's the serendipity of so how people. Uh, yes, it is it is so energizing to draw live in a group. Uh, loved it, will post when done. Thanks from California. Thank you, Marie. Thank uh, you so much. On this high note, I'm already getting uh, hearts from Larissa. She is our beautiful te technological angel that makes this live streams possible. Yes. Yeah. Can I just say one more word yes. before we finish? Is uh, I was going to say that we still take people to become neurographic instructor, and if you do it now, you will be, you will literally, you will qualify by. And you can teach the method uh, from April next year. From April 2024, you will be a fully fledged neurographic instructor and you will be able to share the method. Yes. That's so if you are like 
still feel like you want to jump on the current cohort that is already going, please let us know right away and join the process. You don't have to wait till next April to be in the next cohort. And I'm looking forward to hugging Anna in person. Maybe we'll surprise you with some showing up live and uh, <laughs> that neurographic that brings people together. Yes. Literally and physically and artistically. And until we meet again, good night. Arrivederci. До свидания. Арево.